Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Delaney. And in today's video, I am going to be recreating some outfits from some very cool European fashion girlies that I follow on social media. I've done a few videos like this in the past. I love making them. You guys seem to love them. So I wanted to do one for kind of like fall and winter outfits. I absolutely love getting inspiration from the European fashion girlies because obviously everyone in Europe just dresses so nicely, super into their fashion, and it's just a great way to like draw inspiration. So I have compiled these looks and I'll also be sharing a bunch of pieces from Naked. If you guys don't know about Naked, they are an amazing brand. I've shopped them for years and actually like all of these European fashion girlies that I love are always wearing them. They do collections with them. They are such a staple classic brand, especially for the nice European look and aesthetic. I'm going to link everything for you guys in the description box that I can. Naked is actually having a sale right now so I'll link everything for you guys there and you can shop it through the description box. And then when they're not having sales you guys can also always use my code there. It's childsyt and let's get to it. Okay also I haven't tried on all of these outfits so it's going to be a little bit of an experience to see if we nail it or not as I try them on with you guys. And also for reference these videos when I recreate Pinterest outfits or celebrity style or European girls. It's obviously just a way to get inspired. It doesn't have to be exact. I think it's just a really fun and easy way to kind of feel reinvigorated when you're getting dressed to look at any sort of source of inspiration for a way to style or wear something. So that's just a little bit of a little bit of backstory on my thought process on doing all this. It doesn't have to be exact. It's just a way to get inspired. But it is fun when you can like perfectly nail it because the things that you have match exactly. But anyways, we're starting off with Matilda Jerf, which I'm sure you guys know her. She's like the queen of the internet and she has amazing laid back like Scandi girl style and she always looks so chic and fantastic. So I love, love, love this outfit of hers. It is a pair of like baggy denim. So I have this pair of Levi's. These are the dad Levi's I'm pretty sure and I actually sized up I think two or three sizes in these so that they would be like even bigger and baggier and I love them they are so comfortable and the hers look like a little bit of like a low waist situation so these are perfect for that also I just put on self tanner today so if I'm orange that's why and when I was putting on this white shirt I got a little bit of self tanner on it so that's gonna be fun while I change my outfit a million times but anyways I love this then she has an oversized blazer this white top this basic by the way is from white fox they have really great basics and then this is a blazer from naked this is actually in collaboration with Claire Rose who has amazing style she is a European girly and it's just a nice oversized blazer what size did I get in this I got a 34 because it's already oversized and if you guys are looking for like blazers or coats I have had both of those items from naked for literally five years and they hold up so well amazing quality super timeless and so far I'm loving this I am like a little bit on the petite side for such oversized things I feel like sometimes but we're gonna make it work Matilda was wearing like a little black kitten heel which I actually don't have like a pump version so I had a silver pair of kitten heels like that or I had these black pointed toe ballet flats I kind of like the flats better so these are from Aloha's I'm just gonna tie these up and I already feel like I'm obsessed with this outfit it's so effortless and cool oh my gosh I love it and it's so simple so a lot of times with these videos and drawing inspiration it's not like anything crazy or anything that you wouldn't be able to think of yourself but sometimes we just get stuck in ruts with our fashion and we get stuck in ruts with our closets and when we're going to get dressed I just feel like we can be really uninspired and kind of um, paralyzed too sometimes like we just don't know what to wear and doing these videos really helps me get inspired and just have fun getting dressed even if it's a really simple outfit. Okay, I actually love this. It looks so good. I would wear this anywhere. Okay, I love it. She didn't have a bag in hers, I don't think, but I thought that my little silver tabby would be cute with this. Kind of like goes with all the tones. This is like the perfect casual outfit. 
Okay, for the next outfit, I'm actually just going to hop over to this one because it has a few of the pieces that I'm already wearing and I don't want to take this top off multiple times because of the tanner. So this girl, her name is Amaka, I think that's how you pronounce it, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, she lives in Amsterdam. She has amazing style, very cool, her like friend group, they all dress super cool, I love following her. Anyways, she is wearing this outfit that I was very inspired by because I recently got the Onitsuka tiger sneakers i'm sure you guys have seen these all over i've talked about them in other videos and i love the way that she styled them here so we're gonna make an outfit like this she is wearing like some baggy light wash denim so i'm just gonna keep the same pair of denim on and then i can't see like her shirt oh i can see her shirt in one of these pictures but she's just wearing like a basic gray tee so i'm just gonna keep this white one on and then let's pop the sneakers on okay cute and then she's wearing a little leather black like moto style jacket so i have this one this is also from white fox and it's just like pretty simple staple but it's so cool girl and effortless and european i feel like and i thought it would be cute to add in these earrings these are like my favorite kind of statement but staple earring if that makes sense it's kind of canceling each other out but girls like get it get it and the guys too this is just so so cool girl i love it i think she had like a purple bag on or something which i do not own a purple bag but i thought that this little gucci bag this vintage gucci bag i got this from shop up would be like a nice touch we all know red is the color of the season i like the way it looks with the yellow and this is perfect i love 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 this 10 out of 10 again um this is perfect for like anything casual it is so insanely comfy but it's also so cool girl and i love that all right moving over this next girl is a recent follow and she gives such good inspo i love her outfits um her name is linda and she's based in germany i'm pretty sure and so this off the shoulder style sweater i've seen everywhere and i've been loving it it's such a like classy way to dress a sweater in the fall and winter this one is from naked it's like an eyelash sweater it's a nice cream color it's not itchy though which is really nice and i think i'm wearing this in a size 34 um so she's wearing like an all gray outfit i do want to get more into gray because i'm actually super inspired by a ton of gray outfits that i've seen recently but i'm normally not into the color gray for anything so like home decor clothing shoes bags like i do have some gray stuff but i don't gravitate towards it so so instead of doing gray, I'm going to switch to more of like a cream, like beige based outfit if you guys haven't noticed because I really like gravitate towards those colors more. So she just has it styled with this little mini skirt and this mini skirt is also from Naked. It's like a little pleated mini skirt. It's super cute. Love the way these two look together. It's kind of like preppy and a little bit girly and then she has on some loafers. So these are also from Naked actually and they don't do half sizes i normally am a seven and a half so i got a 38 in these i believe which is more like an eight i prefer my shoes to be bigger than smaller though so and i'd say that these fit like pretty close to perfect they're just like a tiny bit big but i might wear like chunky socks with them whatever so i went with the bigger size okay and then also the way that she has it styled is with like this little i think that's a pauline bag this one is bigger than that but it's kind of a similar shape i like the way it like went together with this i also love the way this is like tying in the loafers with the black and then she has on a pair of sunnies so i thought i would just throw on a pair of sunnies as well this is kind of like a roundish cat eye shape these are um fendi and i love this outfit if you need it to be a little bit warmer if you need some more layers with like a trench this would be super cute and it's just a perfect a little bit more girly a little bit more dressed up outfit okay and then that same girl and the same sweater is the next outfit love styling one piece multiple ways obviously it just helps us understand like how to make outfits out of the things that we have so it was a no-brainer when i saw both of those outfits on her page i was like i want to recreate both of those so here she's wearing like some low-waisted denim some baggy denim so i just put on that same pair i had on earlier the Levi's and she has on some platform mini Uggs, which I wear these so much. So this is perfect. I love the way these look with this pair of denim too. 
like so comfy and casual and laid back but cool and then it looks like she has another pauline paris bag honestly really want that bag it's so cute and i see literally all of the cool euro girls wearing them but i don't have that bag i do have this one however that i love that is a similar like color and shape it doesn't match my uggs quite as good as hers does but it's it's generally close and i love this this is seriously another perfect outfit like i'm getting the best inspo from these girls and they're just really casual laid back outfits but i just love the way that they're paired together um they're super simple and if you needed this to be like a little bit warmer of course you could just add like a trench or a pico or something over top but i love it it's so comfy okay this is a recent follow as well her name is bella and she's based in england i believe i love this outfit just like a cozy comfy cool girl outfit which is a lot of what these are she has on like a cream color faux fur jacket it looks like and some gray trousers i switched it up a bit this is like beige color of trousers They're, they are actually like a little bit grayish tint but not really and i can't tell if hers were like sweats or trousers like i couldn't i didn't know what's going on so i went with this this pair of abercrombie trousers that literally feels like pajama pants i swear by these and then for the jacket i'm switching it up a bit with the colors again this one is from h&m and i featured this in my recent h&m haul was that last week on here and i freaking love it i think it's so cool so good like I feel like a cozy cutie and then I loved like the red hat that she was wearing with this I didn't have an all red hat but I do have this bowls one with the red brim that I thought would be cute I just like this like kind of street style it's almost like this type of outfit is almost a little bit like Adam Sandler ish but in like a really chic way that's probably just not the way to describe it it's like a chic teddy bear <laughs> is better um and then she's wearing the Taz slippers which I have and I love that this like little bit of red ties in these run really small um ties in you can't even see it now because my pants are covering it but like the way she was sitting in the photo you could see the little peak of red and that's so cute together and then she also has like a Dior bag on the table so with this little this like blends in a lot I'll hold it down here so you can see it better I'm obsessed Okay, going back to my girl, Linda. I'm telling you guys, she has great inspo. I had a pair of gray trousers that are perfect for this. I actually love these gray trousers. The one thing I am very much so in love with, that's great. And then this is just like an undershirt situation. So my Mickey Mouse is not gonna stay, unfortunately. And then she's got just like a blue hat, a blue sweater, and her blue Adidas. I just recently got this in from Oakenfort and it is the perfect blue color i haven't taken the tag off yet to match my adidas okay so so far this is perfect this is like one of those outfits that i'm already feeling like i wish i was a little taller though <laughs> that's just literally every outfit babes okay here's my adidas they actually don't match perfectly but pretty close and i feel like just matching your like shirt and your shoes right now is all the rage so cute and for a hat I just have this Dodgers hat because it's perfect blue perfect nice bright blue to go with all this like a deep true royal blue but yeah so she had this brown bag again so or she had her like Pauline bag but I actually love the way this blue and brown looks together I would have thought to pair like black with this outfit for some reason but I love the brown so this is why you do these types of exercises so you can get inspired okay this is the last outfit and I'm using the Queen Josephine HJ I'm sure you guys know who she is um she is the most iconic cool style ever so I love this like all black ensemble it's a bit dressier she's wearing like a sequin black skirt which I did not have but I had this satin one it's actually a little bit big if you guys order this i would size down i got a small and i should have got the extra small this is from abercrombie and then this top that i have on this top is so cool this is from naked and it's like a structured strapless top it's so freaking cool i got a size 34 in this it's a little bit hard to get on with the girlies maybe could have done a 36 in this 
But anyways, so I just went with like all black. I didn't have the textured sequin like she does. Her top I think has like some cool detail and draping, which this does as well. I don't know if you guys can see the like layers and structure of this, but it's so cool. Tights, these are actually like some sparkly tights that I have. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do like that. Um, and then she has on this like heart necklace that's like a tie and I actually have something very similar. I am all for mixing metals, but I feel like those just don't really, those two pieces weren't going together. Okay, very cool. She has on these black and white heels, which I do have these that are black and white heels, but I feel like these are a little too chunky and like not, not the vibe. Okay, it's actually kind of a vibe. It's definitely giving like some holiday feels, which, you know, it's that time of year. Okay, I feel like I could get down with that. And then, this last piece that I'm going to show you guys, this is literally maybe my favorite thing in this whole video. It's so good. This is from Naked. It's a trench. It's a faux leather trench. I got this in a size 36, and the way that this fits is just perfect. Like, I'm obsessed. So, Josephine was wearing, like, a leather trench, and it's just so cool, girl. Like, it's edgy. It's timeless. You can style this one million ways. I also love that it comes with a belt, so you can like cinch it if you want. How good is this for a going out look? But also for anything like casual, like with a baseball cap and denim, a pair of sneakers. I'm just like really into this. It fits so nicely. It's like the perfect oversized but still flattering fit. I probably could have done a 34 as well, but I always get my coats like in a bigger size because I like to layer for them. But this one is just so good. So if you guys have been looking for a faux leather trench, I also like to tie the tie of these in the back one. I'm not tying it, but it's so good. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any video requests, questions, anything like that, you can always drop them in the comments. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching and being here so much.